thinking about Sunday. What? The tree planting ceremony. Oh, that? No, not really. Have you planned anything? Maybe a speech? No. Perhaps you could do something like no, that. No, I'm not going to say anything. Might bet you feel better. Emily, you've been great. And I, I appreciate everything you've done. I really do. You've got to forget about Carrie. I'll take Daisy for a walk. Come on. Have you heard the latest about Charity? What, I should kill someone else? No, she's working for Tom King. Well, she don't waste any time, does she? Imagine having her working for you. Be looking over your shoulder all day, wondering if she's creeping up behind you with a paperweight. <laughs> and you wouldn't ask her to make the tea, would you? Well, if I wanted a really quiet day, I'd get her to work here, wouldn't I? <laughs> you got any news? Well, I suppose you've heard of Victoria Thugden's vow of silence. Oh, will you two stop it? I beg your pardon? You can't get through day without a bit of vicious tittle-tattle, can you? Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> That's rich, coming from you. I do not engage in tittle-tattle, as you so call it. I merely like to keep abreast of events. Victoria Sugden could be showing off. Gone simple or have some very strange disease of the tongue. But until we find out, it's quite legitimate to speculate. And Jack's just walked in, hasn't he? You disgust me. Jack. Anyone else want to have fun at my little girl's expense? I'll take me business somewhere else. Well, that old fan is a bit weird, if you ask me. Hmm. Ooh, need an aspirin? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, shame we haven't got anything, isn't it? So did you find out how much it was worth then, eh? Grandad King. You can take the mick all you like, Kane. He gave us a job. <laughs> and I thought you were dressed up for me. Oh, you get your hands off me. Ow. So, uh, right. what are you going to be doing for him? Secretary. Well, it's a job. It's a step forward. Into a top career in typing. Nice one. Anyway. How do I look? Sexy. <sighs> I need Debbie for this. I've just told you how you look. Is the skirt too short? And what about the boots? Are they saying tart or are they saying businesswoman? Are you just being stupid? And what's with them glasses? I mean, you look smart, but sexy. <sighs> Will Debbie be able to tell me if it was working? Will she be back soon? I hope so. Trust me. Oh, yeah, because that's always worked for me in the past, hasn't it? So, got a busy day planned, have you? I think you might rob enough money for some uh, cans of lager. Well, better that than running about doing chores for the King family. Difference being, you'll still be nicking a few quid here and there when you're 60. Me? I'm thinking ahead, Kane. Now, we're planning to start the ceremony at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, if that's all right. That'll be fine. I'll, I'll tell Marlon and I'll take some time myself. Oh, good. Uh, how, how is he? Preoccupied. Well, I suppose that's natural. He's not preoccupied by Tricia. Oh? He's preoccupied by Carrie. I don't think that is natural. I wish I'd never even told him about her letter. I just thought it might help. He keeps going to see her. I've told him it's not a good idea, but he won't listen. He's grasping at straws. I mean, does he... You know, his intentions, um... <laughs> what are his plans? I don't know. <sighs> I can't have him stalking her. No, we can't. All right. I'll have to talk to him. You get the tea and you put it in his mouth. Like that. And then... Off he goes. Drop the bottle. That's it. How does it feel, OK? You're a natural. <laughs> I was thinking of calling him Snowy. What do you think? No? What about Rex? Tigger? All right, then. What do you think? Victoria. Thanks. My pleasure. Um, e Emily tells me that you've been visiting Carrie. I see. I get it. So this is actually tea with a compulsory little talk attached. No. Hey, too well, I won't go on. Say what you got to say. Well, I was rather surprised because, uh, if you remember, my feeling was that you shouldn't have any contact with her. You see, before Carrie, I couldn't see a way forward. I couldn't, I couldn't work out where I was going, and now I can. Uh, and by this, you, you, no, you mean... No, just, you just like him. We totally don't get it. Don't want me to be happy. Don't trust me. No, that's not true. I, I just want what's best for you, but you can't go on like this. Doesn't matter. I know what I'm doing. That's all that matters. Me and Carrie, that's all that matters. Are you blind? What? 
I allow guide dogs in here and that's it. Are you blind? Yes, Viv. I've been struck blind since you last saw me. Uh, we, we won't be long, Viv. I could lose my licence. That dog has to leave. Fine with me. He gets a bit of leeway because he's in mourning, but it's just not going to carry on. And how was your first hour with King and Son? Yeah, so far so good. Glad to hear it. And uh, how was it from your point of view? Why don't I let you know at the end of the day? Dad, I've just been on the phone to... Uh... Hello. Charity's joined the team. Secretary. It's nice to meet you. Jimmy King. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hope it doesn't affect your typing speed. Well, with me, you get quality, not quantity. His last secretary was a Mrs McLeod. She was 60 and she had a... wart. Right, she could work her? Yeah. So am I. Good. Got much experience. I've run companies bigger than this one. Is that right? Still, I don't remember Mrs McLeod ever being done for murder. I guess she didn't get to see much of you then. So I'm wondering, Dad, uh, fancy a game of golf? Nice idea, but I... I don't want to leave the office unmanned at the moment. That's all right. I can look after things. I don't think so. No, really, I don't mind. I do. Let's not run before we can walk, eh? Another time, then. So, if I'm sticking around, I'll have a coffee when you're ready. That's milk, one sugar, no cyanide, OK? Still all right? Fine, yeah. Did you get anything out of her then? Well, I kept asking her questions, trying to catch her out, but she just nods, shakes her head, or ignores me. Right. I don't know what's wrong with her, but I think it's serious. Whatever it is, it'll sort itself out, eh? Come on then. Time to get you home. Well, come on. You can come again soon, you know. And we can help give the lamb a name. Do you want a drink before you go? Right. I'll see you later. See you later. Uh, well, last item on the agenda, <clears throat> I've invited Councillor Ledbetter along to Mice to see us in action. And also to see the pitch in action as well. Exactly. Now, is there any other business? <sighs> yes. Well, I think Ethan should open the batting. We all know how hard he can hit it. Perhaps I should join him. The two vicars at numbers one and two? I was thinking we might need some younger blood. Youth isn't everything. No, it isn't. We need somebody steady and reliable to balance Ethan's stroke play. Thank you. Well, I was thinking of myself. Why don't you back to number three? Look, I I'm glad you're all so enthusiastic, but batting order's my department. I'll make the decision and inform you all consequently. Meeting's over. Now it's my round, I think. I think Jarvis is developing a taste for authority. Oh, I don't know. I think he just needs an iron hand to control you lot. Got your team sorted out, have you? Uh, get in there. And, uh, you've got a full 11? Well, it's one or two places up for grabs. Well, in that case, I'm your man. You? Yeah. I've got a nifty line in Googly's and I've got a cover drive to die for. And he's a fantastic athlete. I can vouch for that. Too much information, Nicola. And I've even got my own box. You don't share them, do you? It has been known. Look, it it's very good of you to offer, but thanks is no. You are? Well, it's not personal, but, but you're not from village, are you? Well, so what? Well, I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to cricket. Well, you don't have to be born in the county to play for Yorkshire these days. More's the pity. You're turning Simon down when there's old crocs like you and Len Reynolds playing for the team. Well, there's no need for insult. Well, you can stick your flaming cricket team. Come on. Hmm? Not your finest hour, diplomatically speaking. Burdens of office. Another round, please, Diane. Right, you are. I'll bring it over if you like. Oh, thanks. And uh, I, I thought I, I might pop round and see Jack this afternoon. Might not be the best time. Things are a bit fraught. I know. That's why I thought I might see him. Where are you going? Well, I have this great idea. Caught an impulse. I thought I'd shoot down to London, check out a new restaurant and catch a show. You're going to see Carrie? Oh, you saw through me ruse. Don't. Don't what? Don't go see her. She's got nothing to do with Trisha. She's got her own life. OK, she does have something to do with Trisha because of the whole... I don't know if you missed this. The whole Trisha's heart situation. He's going to go see Carrie. Yeah? Will you stop him? Mar uh, Marlon, it might not be a good idea. 
I do understand what you're both saying, you know. Do you? Of course I do, I'm not totally insensitive. <laughs> Carrie was upset yesterday, and that is totally understandable. So it's going to take her a while to adjust, but we're, we're going to work through it. Right. Is that it? He has a right to make his own mistakes. What do you want me to do? Fight with him? And I could take you, by the way. I'm going to no, know you couldn't. This isn't a joke! Marlon, will you leave her alone? Bye. Let me give you one of these. What are you doing here? I'm like your guardian angel. What's that? Hmm? Kearney's out with the shopping? I'll be right there. I thought I made myself clear yesterday. Yeah, yeah, the boyfriend. The thing is, he's got to understand, hasn't he? There's something, there's something more than boyfriend, girlfriend going on with us. It's above and beyond all that. I want you to go. Can't you understand that? I want you to go right now. OK, I'll help you with these and then I'll go. Really, against the sort of bowling we're likely to face, I imagine one could play the forward defensive stroke all day long. What, and bore the opposition to death? It's a proven method of accumulating runs for the team without taking risks. Maybe so. I'm just suggesting there are more exciting ways to play the game. Cuts, sweeps, pulls. Here, let me show you. I don't... Thank you. I'll manage. Of course. What are you smirking at? Nothing. Just getting an idea of what you were like as a 13-year-old boy. I was a charming 13-year-old. Anyway, of course, if the right ball presents itself, I'll punish it. Like the bowler thing, I'm just nudging it here and there for the odd single, and then... <laughs> ah! Oh, ah, oh, ah, I'm sorry! Ah, I'm ah, so ah, sorry! Ah, oh, ah, right. ah, ah, I'll get some ice. No, I'm fine. I insist. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Let's see what we've got here. Chicken, cabbage, potatoes. Hey, you. How about a decent lunch? I'm busy. Why do students never look out the window in the morning? It's because they have nothing to do in the afternoon. It's a joke. Okay, so you're busy, but you've got to eat, right? I'll rush you something up. No, thanks. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Chicken, grilled with garlic and honey, okay? Stir fried cabbage, dolphin rice potatoes. How does that sound? You're not listening to me. It's one of your favourite dishes. What? So I just got on with it, okay? I'm not hungry. You've got to eat! Sorry. We never did quite see eye to eye about food, did we? So I'll just do your lunch, OK? Lunch. What arm can it do? Hello, King and Sons. Just a moment. Uh, I'm sorry, he's busy right now. Can I take a message? This is Charity T, Mr King's secretary. Yeah, I am new. Well, I don't see how that's any of your business. OK, well, you tell me your age first. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll tell him you've called. Bye. Cheeky mare. What, do you know how old I was? Who was it? Some snotty cow called Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> what? That would be my wife. Oh, well, I'm sorry. But she did have a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, that's her. Well, no first day's complete without one little mistake, eh? Let's just keep it to a minimum, shall we? Word of advice. Don't get on the wrong side of my Sadie. Is it helping? I think you should keep it red. No, please don't touch it. I'm so sorry. Yes, you said that. It was an accident. I'm sure it was. Imagine what Jarvis will say if I've seriously wounded our best batsman. Yes, you may get to open the batting now. That never even crossed my mind. I'm not suggesting that it did. Why don't we try and see the funny side of it? <laughs> don't you have any painkillers? I'll go and see. Have you ever tried batting one-handed? What you need is a few more store cupboard essentials. Do I? Olive oil. How can you not have olive oil? Right, Marlon. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to change you. You've never been the most methodical girl in the world, but then why should you be just because I'm Mr Anal, everything in its place? You don't know me. Of course I do. You know I do. Right, I want you to go. You've made me lunch, and that is what you wanted. 
Now, I'm asking you as nicely and as clearly as I can. I want you to go right now. I'm nearly finished, and then I'll wash up. I don't want to leave you the mess. And I, just, I want to watch you eat. I want to see you enjoy my cooking, just like you always have. Right, three things and I'm gone. You need to have a look at this. Contractor's calling round Monday morning. And there is your Robblesfield appointment in the afternoon. Good, thanks. So, what's your verdict? Verdict? Yeah, you said you were going to let me know how I was getting on. No complaints so far. Good. Well, I've enjoyed myself. Maybe we shouldn't pay you then. And it's been a pleasure meeting your family. <laughs> I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it already. Cheeky cow. Well, she seemed to get the job done. And insulted my wife along the way. Well, I'm sure that Sadie is more than capable of dealing with her. Well, it's difficult to explain, but there's a guy in my house and he won't leave. Have you got any soy sauce? No, I don't think so. OK, I'll improvise. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, well, about this guy, I don't know him. Well, at least I hardly know him. No, he thinks he knows me. Well, I don't think he's well. Well, I don't know what to do. Yeah, if you could come, that'd be great. Thanks. Do you want a biscuit with that, Pet? Say please. We'll forget the good manners this one, sir. Oh, that'll be Jarvis. I forgot to tell you he was coming. What does he want? Just a minute. No, you're going to have to ask him. Jarvis? Jack. Did Diane tell you I were coming? Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, I, I don't want to intrude, but I, I couldn't help noticing in Cafe this morning that you're under a bit of strain, so I, I wondered if I could help. Very kind of you, but I don't see what you could do. Well, on my own, probably not. But with a little help from my friend here, who knows? Don't understand. Can I come in? Yeah. Five statues. <laughs> Victoria! Someone here to see you. Two people, actually. <laughs> Myself <coughs> and my friend, Alfie. Nice day at the office. Yeah, it was all right, thanks. Typed some good letters, did we? I basically made sure he didn't regret employing me. Been watching telly all day, have you? Huh? Don't I wish I could have spent my time getting ordered about like a saddle? I'm not pretending that I've suddenly turned into a high flyer king, and I'm not saying that today was a laugh a minute. But I am playing a very long game, and I reckon today I made a good start. Ooh, big words. Yeah, that's right, big words and big plans. There we go. Don't you to miss your programme, do we? Where have you been? I was expecting you an hour ago. Uh, sorry I got held up. What's that? Chinese. I thought you were supposed to be cooking. Yeah, well, I didn't have time to do any shopping. Why not? Oh, do something useful, will you, Frosty? Open a bottle of wine or something. What have you been doing? Oh, shut your gob, man, woman. Your prawn crackers will get soggy. Eat. You're not eating. Yeah, well, I told you I'm not hungry. I know this must be strange for you. You know, I get that. But sometimes fate takes a hand and you've you got to go with it. I don't believe in fate. How can you not? You're the same age as Tricia, right? You've got the same sense of humour. The, the, the top you're wearing, it, it's, it's Tricia's favourite colour. Your eyes. When I look into your eyes, it's like I'm looking into Tricia's. But I'm not Tricia. My name's Carrie Granger. Her heart's still beating in there. It's my heart. Trisha's dead. This is my heart now, in my body. Shut up, get it. You're not listening to me. Hidden talent, sir. Who'd have thought it? Alfie, tell Victoria what you've been doing today. Practising me batting? Oh, yes. 
Uh, Alfie says he's going to play cricket against Connelton. I am. I'm very good at cricket. I've helped Wolfpack beat Malt Shovel many times. Oh, yes. <laughs> and which team were you playing for? A. Hey, I'll have you know, Len wants me to play very badly. Oh, well, he's got the right man, then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's a moody old so-and-so. Uh, will you come and watch me? Then I'll play especially well. I'll score the winning runs. I, I can bowl, too. Your arms are too short. No, they're not. I can bowl very well. That reminds me of a story. Oh. <sighs> Oh, but I'm getting very tired now. I, I, I think, I think I'll go back in my bag. It was lovely to meet you. Don't be sad. W would you, would you like me to come and stay with you? Are you sure? No, oh, quite sure. I, I, Alfie, I'd be very pleased if you'd look after him from now on. You look after him carefully, won't you, love? That was lovely. Thanks very much. It's my pleasure. Yeah, thanks. It's a pity you couldn't winkle a word out of her, though. I thought you might complain about some of those jokes he was telling. Come on, keep your pecker up. She's responding, at least, and Jarvis has even got her smiling. Maybe the doctor will work out what's going on, eh? Here he is. Hello. Your name, sir? Marlon Dingle. What are you doing here? She, she's my friend. She wants you to leave. Sorry? I tried to tell you. You called them? You wouldn't listen to me. Well, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Why did you call them? Come on, now. Get off me. Why did you call them? That's enough. Come on. Please, don't hurt him. It's not his fault. What are you talking about? Well, it's not my fault. Are you going to come quietly? Get up. Scary. Just uh, we can sit down and talk about it. No, Marlon, we can't. Come on. Why are you listening to what I said to you? It's a misunderstanding. Gary, I didn't mean to frighten you. You know that, don't you? Gary, I didn't... Now, tell me what I've done wrong. I don't understand. Right, in you get. Mind your head. 